Hello, I'm Ryan Mohali, and welcome to Talk of the Town, the show where we talk to your government leaders in the town of North Hempstead. Today, we are pleased to be joined by the town councilman from North Hempstead's 2nd Council District, Peter Zuckerman. Peter, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Ryan. It's a pleasure. So, Peter, um, can you tell me a little bit about some of your, uh, your previous positions in, in public service and, uh, you know, before you came to the town of North Hempstead? Absolutely, Ryan. I was a trustee in the Incorporated Village of East Hills for 11 years. Uh, prior to that, I was a prosecutor in the Village of East Hills Court. In addition to this, I'm a practicing attorney admitted to practice law in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Washington, D.C. As well as that, I am also a counsel to the Long Island Board of Realtors. So when did you realize that you wanted to get involved in public service? You know, sometimes there's a, a turning point or, you know, a special figure in someone's life that really points them in that direction. You know, what, what's the story for you? Well, I'll tell you. Um, I have a very strong family background, and my family always pushed me that, uh, to respect government and respect the right to vote. And my grandfather in particular was a postal, worked for the Postal Service, was a letter carrier, and he believed that the right to vote was the most sacred thing. And he always talked about that he wished he had went into politics, and as a result, that was always something that I looked to get into. Wow, that's a, that's a great story. It's really a great story. So you've been town councilman for, for how long now? I was appointed in February okay. via bipartisan support of the town supervisor and the town board. Okay, and you were recently uh, elected in a special election? I was recently elected in a special election a few weeks ago. Okay, terrific. Um, so you're a uh, councilman for the 2nd Council District. Can you tell us some of the areas that you represent? Sure. Uh, the districts are East Hills, East Wilston, Rosalind Heights, Greenville, Glenwood Landing, Searingtown, Albertson, Herricks, and Manhasset Hills. Okay, terrific. Um, so let's talk about some of the things going on in your district right now. I know there's a lot of different projects and different news items going on. Um, you know, I think one of the uh, more important things that's happened uh, that you've done is traffic safety. Um, I know there was an incident on Roslyn Road in Locust Lane earlier this year, and you've helped improve traffic safety there. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Traffic safety and public safety is something that's extremely important to me. As a lifelong resident of the town of North Hempstead, and would specifically have lived have living in District Two for quite some time. I'm well aware of the streets and some of their dangers. Roslyn Road and the the intersection of Roslyn Road and Locust Lane has been a treacherous spot for quite some time. There was a tragic accident this past year with some young boys. Um, so we've done some things to try to improve that. Supervisor Bosworth and myself we've put in a guardrail backing Locust Lane where it intersects with Roslyn Road. In addition to that, I sponsored legislation with Supervisor Bosworth, which was unanimously approved by the town board, to modify the speed limit going north from Jericho Turnpike proceeding to the service road of the Long Island Expressway, modifying the speed limit to 30 miles per hour. What happened was there were multiple speed limits previously, and now we've modified it to 30 miles per hour. In addition to that, we're working with the county and county legislator Judy Jacobs to get a traffic light at that intersection. I know that we need a traffic light at the intersection of Locust Lane and Roslyn Road, and I will not stop, and I know the supervisor will not stop until we acquire it and get work with uh, Legislator Jacobs to achieve that. That's great that you're, you're working with you know, other levels of government, you know, you guys are working together to do things like that and working with the supervisor, that's excellent. Um, you know, so earlier this year, a five-year capital plan was approved unanimously by the town board, uh, including yourself. Uh, I know there's some projects on there, um, you know, that affect uh, your district. Maybe you can talk a little bit about a couple of those. Sure. Well, the, one of the jewels of my district, district too, is the Clark Botanical Gardens. I mean, it's a wonderful facility. Every year the town has spooky walk there. There are tremendous children's programs there, uh, tremendous trails. And it was something that was very important to me, and I know it was something that was very important to the supervisor as well. So we're doing some modifications there. We're putting a new roof on the central building there. In addition to that, we're uh, fixing the greenhouses and fixing the trails to make this a beautiful place that we can all be proud of. In addition to that, we're doing some work at the Roslyn train station. Now, this is very important. We are restriping and repaving the whole area. We'll, we're fixing the, the sidewalk area. We're making it safe. You know, in the past few years with the storms that we've had, whether it was Superstorm Sandy or the winter storms, that station has taken a beating, and we need to fix that area 
for our residents. Oh, great, great. Um, so along with the capital plan is, you know, uh, is finances and, and, you know, being a strong fiscal watchdog on finances. Uh, I know recently that the town board unanimously approved a, uh, uh, the budget for 2015. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about finances and, you know, the, the importance of, you know, uh, you know, giving services, but also, you know, tightening the belt. Absolutely. It's always a delicate balance because you need to provide services. The town of North Hempstead is is very it's very important that we treat our residents to the support that they need. However, you have to maintain a budgetary stance that is fiscally responsible. The budget that was recently passed by bipartisan support before election day, which is novel, okay, was fiscally conservative and there was a 1% reduced in spending overall. And this is very important. Now, we we were able to achieve this without reducing services, which is the most important thing. The town has many wonderful services, such as project independence and other things, and we'll still maintain that high level of services. Right, right. Um, so getting back to another project in your district, uh, the Roslyn Country Club. Yes. Um, I know recently there were a couple of uh, public meetings. I think a couple hundred town residents uh, at least or, or country club residents came out uh, for these hearings. Uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about you know, the importance of this project, you know, where that kind of stands. Absolutely. The Roslyn Country Club has been something that's been, that topic has been floating around there for quite some time. Going back to when I was a young, young man, the Roslyn Country Club facility was active and it was, it, it, was the, it was the centerpiece of that community. Well, now we've revived it. In the past nine months, Supervisor Bosworth and myself were committed to making this project a go. We've had public hearings to outline to the residents of the country club what we intend to do. Um, we've created a special park district, and this project is slated with, if everything goes as planned, to be open by Memorial Day 2017 and break ground fall 2015. Terrific. Um, so you, you thought that the, the meetings were, they were positive, they were positive feedback? The meetings were positive. The residents in the Rosal Country Club area, they want this project. As a trustee in the Corporate Village of East Hills for 11 years, one of, the, one of my greatest accomplishments was to participate in the purchase, acquisition, and building of the park in East Hills. I've seen firsthand how this can become the centerpiece of the community. The wonderful sil facility we we constructed in East Hills is the centerpiece of that community for residents to play, to just come and enjoy themselves, to use those facilities. There's multiple pools, tennis courts, uh, basketball courts. It's wonderful. And that's what we want to deliver to the Rosalind Country Club community. Right, right. Well, it sounds like there's a lot going on in your district for sure. Um, we'll kind of wrap it up with, with one final question. Um, you know, so you've been a uh, representative in the community for 11, 12 years now. You know, what's your favorite thing about it as far as being a, you know, a public servant and elected official? Well, I'll tell you, the, the best thing about being a public servant and being elected official is you get to talk to so many great people every day. Every day is a new experience. But the best part is that you, when you talk to people, they tell you how you can help them. And look, you wouldn't do this job if you didn't want to help people. And that's what I want to do, and that's what Supervisor Bosworth and all the other elected officials at the town of North Hampton want to do. We want to help people. And people tell us so we can help them. And that's the best part about being a, a public official. Great, great, terrific. Well, Peter, thank you so much for being here today. It was a, a lot of fun. We uh, got a lot of good information out there, I think, for the town residents and uh, the residents of uh, District 2. So thanks a lot. Thank you, Ryan. Okay. Pleasure. All right. Well, thank you for watching Talk of the Town. As always, to find out more about your local elected officials or what is going on around town, log on to the town's official Facebook and Twitter pages. See you again next time as we talk to another one of your government leaders in the town of North Hempstead. Have a great day.